Hi guys, happy Friday. Um, Bella here, and as I told you, I was going to start making videos every Friday, giving you my weight loss update. And so, good to my word, here's our first Friday, and I'm calling this the um, successful summer weigh-in update, because I really believe that the way that you go into something is, the, is what you'll get out of it, um, and I really try to live my life by positive attitude. And um, even though my last video, I know I seemed kind of serious or kind of sad, I was just, I think I was just taking things seriously and I had a lot of facts that I felt like I had to get out. Obviously it was a really long video, um, so that's why. But I think that in these shorter videos where I'm just kind of telling you my weight, hopefully my personality <laughs> will come out and you'll see. Um, anyway, so last week um, on Friday, when I weighed in at the doctor's office, um, at the surgeon's office, I saw the biggest number I've ever seen, which was 315 pounds, which is crazy. Um, and then I kind of just took the weekend to regroup, and I mean, not really even regroup, I just kind of took the weekend and said, okay, on Monday I'm starting. So, um, as of Monday, I've been on really well, following the plan and following, um, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And so, today, I have an amazing weigh-in. Um, I lost 8.4 pounds since Monday. Um, so the number on the scale was 306.6, 8.4 pound loss. Awesome. Um, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn or seem like I'm being um, bold or, or, I don't know. I'm just proud of myself. And so I think that it's fine. I'm confident and proud of myself. So um, I'm happy. So anyway, uh, basically all I did was follow the guidelines that they laid out for me from Kaiser. Um, I followed the nutritionist's plan of eating three meals of 400 calories, you know, more or less, um, not snacking in between, which, I mean, I was kind of concerned because I really do like to snack. And I told myself, you know what, no, you're not going to do that because you're not going to be able to snack after you have the surgery, so there's no snacking now. Um, and you know what, sometimes it was hard, a couple times in the afternoon I was kind of like, oh, I could really go for something, but it wasn't impossible. And I think that's the thing I proved to myself this week, um, was if I put my mind to it, I can do it. Like, this is not that difficult if I put my mind to it. Um, so, like I said, 1,200 calories a day, more or less, you know, um, each meal 400 calories. Working out, um, they want me to work out five days a week, 45 minutes a day minimum. So I've been doing over an hour, um, and it will be by the time, I mean, for next week, it'll, pr it'll probably be more like six days a week. Um, this week I worked out Monday, Tuesday. I took Wednesday as a rest day because I was kind of feeling sore. And I just had a lot of other things to do. Um, so I was still pretty active, but I didn't do any like official workout on Wednesday. Then yesterday I worked out, and again today I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to go swim in just a bit. Um, but, so, great exercise, feeling really good, feeling very positive, feeling just like lighter. I mean, not necessarily that, I guess my clothes are a little bit, fit, fitting a little bit better, but just, I mean, I think it's like a lightness of like, ah, weight off my shoulders or something, which is a great feeling. Um, and like I said at the beginning, I feel just so proud of myself that I stuck to this and, and did it. And I still got to eat food that I enjoyed. I still got to eat really tasty meals because um, I'm never going to give that up. You know, I'm always going to try to make my meals taste as good as they can because I do enjoy cooking. Um, and if you want to find out more about the type of meals that I was eating exactly, you can become my friend on my fitness pal, which I'll put down there. And you can um, see my diary and see my what I actually eat in a day. Um, but anyway, the biggest hurdle now is the fact of just staying consistent. Um, in the past, I've had a problem a little bit with consistency where I will have a really good week like this one was and then I'll get a little bit cocky and maybe a little complacent and think, oh, I can have that bite of this or I can skip that workout or I don't have to do that much of a workout. I can just do it for 20 minutes, not, you know, an hour or whatever. And obviously, uh, complacency is like the, the evil step daughter or something of, of consistency, right? Or that doesn't actually make any sense. I should rewind that. Uh, basically, it doesn't do any good to um, become complacent. And so I'm really going to try to be very consistent with what I'm doing and just follow this path, you know. 
and um, make sure that I'm doing things the right way. And if I do um, eat a little bit more at a meal, like for example, Friday, is, I mean, sorry, Sunday is Father's Day and I'm having a barbecue at my house. Um, and we're doing, you know, fairly healthy dinner. I mean, I'm making turkey burgers, not hamburgers. Um, I'll have buns for them. I probably won't have a bun. Um, we're going to have sweet potato french fries, which I, you know, I will have. Um, and I think we're having like fruit salad without, you know, just with fruit. Um, and I forget the other, another green salad or something like that. So we're going to eat pretty healthy. But I probably will um, have a, one skinny girl margarita. I'm going to allow myself to have that. But to make up for that, I definitely will work out that day before they get here um, so that I can pre-burn the calories because I think that's that's real life. I think that's how that works. And I think that um, indulging sometimes is okay, but only if it's sometimes. My problem in the past was that I was indulging once a week, you know, if not more. And that's not, um, that's not how I'm going to be successful with this. So, you know, Father's Day doesn't, that's once a year. Um, my birthday's coming up. Again, I might have a glass of wine on my birthday or something, but I'm planning to make those days few and far between in general and really stick to this because I can. Um, I've proven that this week. So um, consistency, that's going to be what I keep telling myself all week long. Um, the other thing that means that now that I've lost 8.4 pounds, it means that I have 26 to go, which is awesome. And I think that in the nine weeks remaining, of the summer for me, um, I should definitely be able to lose those 26 pounds. So I'm going to throw that out there and say that by the time summer's over, I will have met that goal. And hopefully then, within six weeks or so, the, the surgery will be scheduled, uh, which is actually perfect timing in terms of my job because school will start back, I'll get to have the new students, and like as much as I, <laughs> after one week of summer, I really don't want to think about the beginning of the school year, but just like in terms of planning, it could be really perfect timing because um, it means that I'll have a month or a month and a half to be with the students, to lay out some curriculum, to grade a few things, um, have an essay, a few tests, some assessments, uh, and just for them to get to know me and my expectations and me to learn about them um, and set things up for a sub to come in for about a month. Um, and the nice thing is that I've banked that many days for sick leave, so taking that much time off for recovery from surgery won't be a problem, um, which is a really nice thing. Um, it, it pays not to take too many days off, right? It pays uh, not to call in sick for just the sniffles. So, anyway. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be really warm here, like really hot, almost too hot. Like tomorrow's supposed to get oh, to 100. Um, but then it's supposed to cool down and become just like kind of nice on Sunday and then the rest of next week. So um, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend with your family or with your friends. And I will see you next Friday for week two weigh in. Thanks.